it's awesome. It's like, it's kind of like the Shire around here. You, you, there's all these little hill towns that are connected and quiet little valleys. Um, it's an overlooked part of New England. This 1740 Route 2 opened and that was the primary pathway between Albany and Boston. And, but then the interstates came in, in the 1950s and 60s and Southern Berkshire County was discovered. Route 91 brought people to Vermont and New Hampshire and this little Northwest corner of Massachusetts has been overlooked in certain ways since then. My name is John Schaefer. My family runs Berkshire East Ski Area, the Warfield House Inn, uh, Zor Outdoor just down the hill, which is a whitewater rafting and zip line business. Uh, we also run Catamount Ski Area and Big Red Cats in British Columbia. Uphill, downhill, gravity powered uh, activity business. And Charlemont and the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts are one of the best places in New England, if not the East Coast of the US, to pursue those sports. Um, Within five or six miles of me, you can have class three, four white water. All right, man. Yeah! Yeah! Great fly fishing, awesome bike trails, both public and at Thunder Mountain Bike Park. Great skiing, great activities, and a nice little local athletic culture that supports it all. It's funny how much highways affect the way we see the world, isn't it? So often we use them to get from point A to point B as quickly and efficiently as possible. I mean, that's why they exist, so it makes a ton of sense. The problem with highways is that when we stick to them, we miss out on some pretty stellar pockets of the world. Case in point, Charlemont, Massachusetts. Getting in and getting out isn't exactly a rapid affair, but that's part of what makes this place so special. Oh, plus the people. Oh yeah, and also the Lomers. My family's originally from Michigan, but I was born here. My dad bought Berkshire East behind me for a dollar in 1976. And he... Wait, you say he bought it for a dollar? A dollar, yeah. It was a bankrupt ski area. I grew up helping him run the mountain, doing anything from picking rocks out of the parking lot to trash and cleaning toilets to making snow, and now I'm in charge. It's a group of hardworking people that, that love our community and love the businesses that are in it, both ours and others. and realize what the area has given them. Something I'd love to see more places lean into is where you have a business mm -hmm. that sees the value in having all these other opportunities that are adjacent to it. Yep. Because then they start to sort of become a singular uh, attract. That's something that you guys are intentionally cultivating? It's, an, it's intentional. Building a uh, series of bike trails is a two decade proposition if you're gonna build them properly. Anybody can go build a trail. It, it takes time, vision, and diligence to maintain it and turn it into a network. We are blessed with the Holly State Forest, which is just off the top of Thunder Mountain Bike Park, uh, which we're just now making connectors into and out of. You'll be able to take a bike to the top of the mountain, right off the top, go straight into Holly. You got the Warfield House here, which is a little more enduro -y and maybe a little more progressive style of riding. Uh, that's awesome too. Beyond that, there's more opportunities. So I think there's, we estimate there may be 65 miles or so of non Thunder Mountain Bike Park trails, essentially around us. Why do I care so much about bikes? Uh, what else are you gonna do? I am blessed to have grown up in an awesome place like Charlemont with a lot of great people that have inspired. It, you know, I was just talking to Tyler Hamilton, right? Former US Postal Racer. He insert, you know, he grew up on my couch. Um, and I was eight and he and my brothers were 16, you know, or 17 ski racing at Berkshire East. So you have great people around you um, your whole life. Um, and honestly, they just want to go ride bikes. So why the hell not?
feel like I've made it pretty clear over the years just how much I love spending as much of my time as possible in the great state of Vermont, which probably explains my infatuation with this place. Sure, it is just a few miles south of the state line, but more than that, Charlemont is nestled in the very same mountain range that covers most of Vermont. When the Green Mountains cross the line into Massachusetts, they're suddenly called the Berkshires. You can call them whatever the heck you want, I just know that the same magical terrain that lends itself to world-class trails up in Vermont is also abundant in Charlemont as is the willingness to embrace it.